In this Black Myth Wukong video, I bring you the best farms from every chapter. Minus chapter 6 because if you are here already, you can always go back to any of these amazing farms. So let's go. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy this video, leaving a like really helps me out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So there are many amazing farms in this game which reward you that world, that XP, materials and so much more. In this video, I bring you the best farms available from every single chapter after the latest patch. So let's get into it guys. Now there are five items you can get to make your farming more efficient. And these five items buff everything from will to XP to material drops. Now I do have a complete guide on all five of these uh, and where they are found, which I'll link in the video description. But to quickly run them off, we have the gold flower hairpin, the skull of turtle treasure, the lantern holder, the celestial registry tablet, and the golden carp. Now for any of these farms, I'd recommend you using the incense tray or talisman. Uh, have these equipped in your quick access slots for traveling straight back to that said shrine to repeat the farming more efficiently. So yeah, make sure you have this. Uh, this is an early game item I'm pretty certain everybody has already. Okay, so let's get into the farm guys and a great farm for early players is in chapter one's bamboo grove snake trail shrine. So this farm consists of you running this route I take on screen now and just taking out four snake enemies. Here ignore everything else if you can including those skeleton kind of enemies uh, who just build themselves up off the floor right in front of you. Just take out these snakes. They drop around 200 will each, it's actually around 170 depending on what buffs you have on. Um, but they also have a good chance of dropping those mine cores too as well as other materials. So following the path I take on screen now, run up these steps, uh, you'll find a snake, take him out, run back on yourself, jump off of the bridge, and there's one down below. Then guys, follow the short path forward I take to another one, which when you take him out, push a little forward, then turn left into the greenery, and there is another. Upon taking the fourth out, use that talisman to teleport back to the shrine and repeat. This one per run rewards you around uh, 650 of that will, and around 800 XP depending on what you have here in regards to buffs. Okay, so we're going to move on to a farm in chapter 2. Okay, so we're in the Fright Cliff area from the Rockfest Flat Shrine. Uh, this one, I feel people in and around this point in the game, it may be the best for you. So how this works is actually quite straightforward. You do a quick circle of this area, taking out six or so enemies uh, that are here. Then come back to the shrine, rinse and repeat, or rest and repeat even. Uh, so the way I run this is as follows. From the shrine, head left around it, and there's a rock type enemy sticking out of the floor. If you do a light combo on him, you can take him out before he even moves. Then straight ahead is an enemy with a shield, a porcupine enemy with a shield. Uh, here, immobilize him or just try and stick to his right hand side for an easier kill. Then turn around and run over to this enemy and take him out. Then turn back on yourself and run over to these other two enemies in the ground. Again, take him out before they even come out of ground, make it easier. And then onto one of these spiky porcupine enemies uh, and take him out too. And lastly guys, just on this ledge there is another one you can take out. Then back to the shrine, rest, rinse and repeat. XP from this one per run you roughly get around 1200 plus. Will per run here you are looking at in the region of around 1600. Okay, so we have now a couple of decent farms within chapter 3. Okay, so the first one takes place within the Pagoda Realm. And from the Mani Wheel Shrine uh, within here, this is the third shrine you should come to. There's a quick route you can run which has a decent chance of giving you mine cores. So from the shrine guys, we go take out a few hard hitting enemies who have increased chances again, like I said, of dropping those mine cores 
but also other materials as well as that will and XP. So from this shrine, follow the path I take on screen now. Now the first enemy you see me fight, you can ignore him. I'll just take him out because he's here. The main guy along this path though, uh, before we jump down, is the eagle-like enemy. Now once you've taken this guy out, jump down as I do, and then slay this big dude. Once you've taken him out, turn back on yourself and run along this path and jump down, uh, jump down a couple of steps here, and then there's another big guy here. Upon you taking him out, run this way and kill this guy with his large sword. Then make your way in and travel upwards to where you'll meet another big dude. From here guys you can use your talisman to travel back to that shrine and repeat this or follow the path I take on screen. Now it's a little bit of a trek for just another one big guy but it's completely up to you. Now from this run besides the mine cores and the other items you will get drop, you will earn roughly 2400 will and around 3000 in that XP or experience. So there are two other farms within chapter 3 you can take advantage of, both come from the same shrine and both are actually pretty good for those mine cores. Uh, one is just a single enemy you take on and this rest and repeat at nearby shrine, the other one is a route where you take on multiple enemies all capable of dropping those mine cores. Okay so from the new thunderclap temple area and the temple entrance shrine, follow the short path to this enemy right here. Now he does hit pretty hard, but you should be easily be able to take him down. He for me actually drops mine cores quite consistently. Uh, so it's as simple as fighting this guy, taking him out, then fast traveling back to that shrine or using your talisman, then rinsing and repeating guys. For this alone you'll get around 400 will and around 500 experience, but also a decent chance of getting those mine cores. Now the next farm is a route we take around this area and take on 10 plus of the overseeing monks. Now these are those annoying enemies that for some reason have that hole punch that you can never seem to avoid but these guys have decent drop rates so those mine cores too. So from the same shrine guys run again towards that first enemy we just faced. Here you can take him on or run past him it's completely up to you. I just fight him. Then you'll come through this building and there's one of these monks here. Take him out people. Then guys run out the back of this building and head up these steps on your right hand side. At the top here there are two more of these monks who you want to take them both out. Then guys run this way towards these steps, taking out these two annoying ads who shoot down that electricity upon you. These don't add anything to the farm realistically, 
but when you're fighting the next group of monks they can be annoying by dropping that thunder on your face so yeah take them out then run down these steps towards these three other monks within this building here you can use your duplicates to help you fight these two i personally would probably hold off uh, because there's another group of these monks too but it's completely up to you what you do and how you run this but yes take out these three monks guys and you're good to go Then run through this path. Now there's a big dude here. You can take on or run past. That's completely up to you. I've destroyed this guy numerous times. Never once has he dropped me a mine coil. Drops around 400 will though. So yeah, maybe worth your time in doing this. It's up to you. We're pushing forward anyway up these steps. There's another one of these bunks ready for you to fight. So taking him out, you then follow the path I take on screen. Now towards three more of these monks all standing around a tree. After taking these three out guys, there's one more praying to a tail statue who's the last we take on on this run. From here guys, use that talisman, fast travel back to that shrine, rinse and repeat. It is one of those longer ones to run but at the same time, all these enemies have a decent chance of dropping you those mine cores. From this run alone guys, you'll get around 600 experience and around that 5.5k will mark. So yeah, decent. Okay, so within chapter 4, we have a few amazing farms. Probably the two best in the game in regards to how quick you can earn that experience and that will. Okay, so to start guys, we have one of two farms that take place within a webbed hollow and consist of you using your transformation to destroy a load of hanging spider egg fingers. Now, both these farms require the Ashen Slumber transformation to do this in the quickest way possible. But the whole thrust is an okay transformation you can use too. I'll link guys to these both in the video description if you do not have them yet. Okay, so for the first one from the Web Hollow Virgil Bridge Shrine, follow the short path I take on screen now. Here, guys, you want to transform into the Ashen Slumber and then just explode using the D transform button. This will take out most of the eggs here and earn you upwards towards 2000 will and even more experience. Using the whore thrust is a longer method as you would use its range attacks uh, but it does take them out it just isn't as quick as the ashen salamba. Once you are done use that talisman to fast travel back to the shrine, rinse and repeat. Per run here you're getting like I said around 1600 will and roughly around the same experience depending on the buffs you have. Now there's an even better farm in this area which you need to have access to the pool of Shadow Jade Shrine which can be a kind of pain in the ass to find so firstly from the upper hollow shrine follow the path I take on screen now to that pool of Shadow Jade Shrine.
So once you're at this pool of shattered jade shrine, it is as simple as this. Run around this corner, transform into the ashen slumber, stand in the middle of those eggs and de-transform, taking out all of these eggs. You'll gain around 2700 world per run and even more experience. Now using the whole thrust works too, just not as quick obviously. But once you take them all out, go run back to that shrine, rest, rinse and repeat. It's as simple as that. So the next farm isn't as quick in regards to XP you will earn as the previous two but you'll also earn a ton of materials at the same time in doing this and you get just under 4,000 of that will and experience at the same time. So from the temple of yellow flowers, from the temple entrance shrine, follow this path I take on screen now. Now once you get within here guys, run around rounding up all of these worm like enemies. Once you've rounded them up and I think there's like 12 or 13 here in total, use what you can to slay them. These will earn you like I said just under 4000 will, more in XP and tons of materials too. Then guys use that talisman, fast travel back to that shrine, rinse and repeat. Okay, so next up guys, we have probably the best combined mine core, will farm and XP farm in the game. It's the last one we're going to cover in chapter 4 in today's video. It's one of the new ones I have found and posted, but it's definitely one you do want to be taking advantage of. And it takes place from the relief of the Fallen Loom Shrine upon the Webbed Hollow. If you haven't found this shrine yet later on in the video and timestamp down below I'll show you exactly where this is located. Now in regards to requirements for this the last section uh, where you'll get over 2000 will and experience requires the ashen slumber transformation. The part beforehand though uh, where you get those mine cores just requires you to have skill simple as that. So from this shrine guys this is what you need to do. You're going to take a route and take out five of those beetle type enemies all having a high chance of dropping you those mine cores. I was getting most of the time one or two per run doing this with runs taking a couple of minutes if that. So from the shrine guys follow this short path here to the first beetle enemy and take him out. Now upon you taking this enemy out, follow the path I take on screen now to the second one and again guys, take him out. From here guys follow the short path I take to where three more of these beetle enemies are located. Here guys I just ran them up and fight them all at once with my duplicates. Makes it way way easier.
Now upon you taking these out, run into this cave behind you and take out this smaller minion. Then guys, this is where you need the Ashen Slumber Transformation. But first, trigger your Collide Step, uh, run across this bridge, get into the middle of it, and from here guys, use that transformation and then quickly detransform to take out all these spiders with that explosion. This is where you earn tons of wooden experience. Now if you don't do it this way, there's a high chance they will just knock you off to your death. So once you are done here guys, fast travel back to that shrine using your talisman, rinse and repeat the run. Simple as that. Okay, so how about locating the relief of the Fallen Lung Shrine? Now, to get here guys, it's quite simple. So from the cliff of the Oblivion Shrine, follow the path I take on screen now. Okay, so lastly guys, we have a farm in chapter 5. So there's a decent farm you can do here and it takes place within a valley entrance shrine within the Furnace Valley. It consists of you following the path I take on screen now and there's two shielded poles here. Upon you taking them out, you get around 800 will from each and around 700 of that EXP experience. But at the same time, landing those mine cores too. Once you're done, fast travel back to that shrine using your talisman and repeat people it is as simple as that and there we have it guys five plus of the best farms in black myth wukong guys if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one